It's the most fur-filling Monday of the hockey season, 36 hours post-Teddy Toss when Phantom staff gather to bag the Bears one by one and handful by handful. This is definitely not a normal Monday for us, so to come down here and everyone help out and really just pull together and be a team, it's great to have a great staff to do that. The excitement began with the Phantoms faithful and their commitment to the cause, lugging loads of stuffed animals into the arena, willing the team to score the game's first goal, this year courtesy of Jerry Mayhew. Here is York in front for Allison, backhander, save, rebound, score! Send him to the ice! It's anticipation and you hope that that goal happens early and this year it was perfect. It was you know just about the 10 minute mark and that just allows people to get in, throw the bears, the players have a smile on their face. They, you know, it relaxes everybody and then the rest of the evening is just a, a celebration of how many bears got thrown on the ice. Man, there were a lot of teddy bears. It, it, that took a long time, uh, but no, it was, it was great. I think I've, I've had four out of five teddy bear toss games I've scored, so it's kind of just good luck for me. So another very good game for Jerry, and eventually the fur would settle as the staff sifted through, disposing of any misfit toys to the dumpster, of course. <clears throat> Penguins, thank you, Melvin. Part of the fun this year was filling to the brim the 1-800-GOT-JUNK FAMBONI. Franchise owner Dave Wise upping the ante with a special donation promise. We came in, we said we wanted to pack the Fanboni, not only do kids love it, but the Bears really love it. So let's go in and let's donate a dollar per bear. The thing is, we only had 1,021 that we could fit in there. So we're going to just up it $3,000. We're going to go $3 per bear because uh, it's a great cause. Tallying all the teddies is a tall task. The foolproof system featuring post-its and calculators finally revealing the total cuddly count for 2021. 6,593. As is tradition, the morning of counting was followed by an afternoon of delivering to Valley Youth House. The team unloading effort enacting a plush parade into the offices where the goods will be later distributed. I think it's like a feeling like no other. It's an event like no other, frankly, to just see so many teddy bears being paraded into our office and to come into Valley Youth House and it's just kind of that final piece of the puzzle in the teddy bear toss and it's something that's joyous and uplifting for a lot of our staff too. They, they are working with youth and families who are uh, experiencing great need and can take a toll on our staff as well. So something fun like this definitely is a spirit lifter around the holidays especially. It's just very feel good. Including this year's 6,500 plus donations, nearly 38,000 over eight seasons of Lehigh Valley teddy bear tosses, including last year's virtual event. Most importantly, that means a huge impact for nearly 25,000 families right here in the Lehigh Valley. Each one of those teddy bears represents a family and a youth and a kid that is going to receive comfort and care by it. So that's kind of the big message here is that that community sport is where it's going. It's really cool to see all the teddy bears and just see the, the magnificent number of them, but it really when you put it into perspective of how many youth and families it's going to help, that makes it all worth it. For the Phantoms, the teddy bear toss is one of many efforts being organized this season to reciprocate the level of support felt at each and every home game. We just did coat drive a little while ago and you know over a thousand coats out in the community these bears out in the community we're gonna have a food drive coming up here in January that's gonna allow us to get some food out in the community and it just it's, it's important for us community is is everything to us as an organization uh, that's how we fill our seats is with the community and that's how we are able to give back on the scene with tons of teddies soon to find a new home I'm Christy Fulkerson for the service electric network